Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sports Blog. I'm a sports gamer and he's Ivancito Perez back with another video. So first we're gonna talk about Nelson Cruz. What do you think about it? I think it's a good uh, acquisition by the Mariners. For those who don't know, it's a four year deal, 57 million bucks. And it should be good for the Mariners and the lineup including Cano. I mean, come on. Those two right now is going to be pretty intense to pitch around. Either Cruz or Cano. You cannot pitch around both. You're going to get burned by the rest of the lineup. And they almost made it to the postseason this, this year. So let's see what happens uh, for next season now. Looks like the Mariners are starting to get a little more dangerous as the, as the time goes on. Uh, first Cano uh, uh, last year and right now Nelson Cruz. I mean this is starting to become a dangerous team. Uh, bit by bit they got become one of the most dangerous teams in the league. Don't you agree? Yeah, they, they finished what third in the NL West, AL West, excuse me. Um, they're getting, getting stronger every, every year. So Let's see what happened this year. They were close enough to get to the second AL wild card, to the wild card game, but they fell sh a little bit short by the A's. But again, let's see what happens for next season. Okay. So right now we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the Nick Marquez deal. Four years, forty-four million dollars with the Braves. A pretty nice offer, don't don't you think? Uh, I think it's a, it's a great deal. They they traded away Jason Hayward. But they bring they bring in some veteran veteran person around the clubhouse. It should be in, should be intense at first, but not as much. But I expect a lot of production for the guy from right field. Has a good arm, has a good bat. Uh, very very fun to be around with. Let's see what happens. And looks like the the Orioles have lost two key players. So how will this impact in the rest of the season? Sorry, it's starting next season. Uh, I don't think it should be that much. The Orioles have been top of the league for the what the past three or four years. I don't think Buckshaw Walker is gonna be that much on the downside. They should surely have some prosper in the on the on the on the bump system. I think they should, they should be okay. I expect them to be second, probably first on the wild card or first on the division. Let's see what happens. That AL League is it's pretty intense right now. So the Yankees getting up, the Orioles okay, the big sign up in Boston. Come on, should be good. Well, and, and let's see how Toronto gets into the battle in, in the AL East after getting Josh Donaldson. Definitely. I mean, he's, he is a great bat and a great glove in third base. He, hit, he can hit for power, pretty much all the average. He can bring the RBIs. And he's a, a, he's a fun, fun guy to be around with. You'll see the A's, they enjoy having him. Like, I'm guessing the Toronto Blue Jays will also have, will have some fun with him. Let's see what, what, what goes down. Okay, so anything else you want to add to this episode? I think it should be interesting how the AL, AL East should do on the battle for, for best in the division. I think right now it's the strongest division than the rest of the divisions in the AL, but let's see because uh, the Central is also battling, but I'm guessing the AL is the strongest right now, part of the major leagues. It always has been a strong battle in the AL East, but if the battle has been mostly uh, from either the Yankees or the Red Sox. But in the past few seasons, it has been kind of uh, a little bit of everything. And but the Yankees and the Red Sox in in a, in a kind of a struggle. So it kind of gives the rest of the division some kind of uh, hope to get back at, at some point, don't, don't you think? Yeah, I guess the, giving the, the advantage to the rest of the team, the Red Sox is not much. Losing all the pitching on this past year on the trades, away, giving away Lester and the other guys. Uh, now, right, right now, it's like Sandoval and Ramirez. There should be 
don't know. I expect it to be at least third, probably fourth. I don't think they're going to go far this next year, this coming year. Okay. So, anything else you want to add to this episode? Uh, I'm good. I just want to see all the all the, all the pawns moving around the chess table. Let's see how it goes. And I'm hoping the winter meeting so we can watch TV. Let's see what happens. Maybe the news. Okay. So, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel also remember to, to subscribe to his channel Ivancito Perez and I'll see you guys next time Peace.